Hey, you guys, what the heck is up? Happy freaking what day of the week is it? Thursday. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday. I wanted to hop on here super quick today to talk about the one reason that virtual assistants, the one, the one excuse virtual assistants make for not posting. And I want to talk about this tonight, not to like call anyone out, but to just give everyone the opportunity um, to realize, you know what I mean? How silly it is and how beneficial posting is okay because I feel like a lot of times we overthink things I am the biggest overthinker I have fallen victim to this way of thought before and I really just wanted to dive into it tonight so what the heck is up let's dive in okay so the number one reason I hear after oh well I don't know what to post the number one reason why people, virtual assistants or just coaches or anything, what's up, Carrie? The number one reason why people don't post, even though they have this wealth of knowledge, is because they're like, well, I don't want to give away everything. I don't want to give away all of my secrets. What if I want to make a course one day? What if I want to have a paid webinar one day? What if I, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a virtual assistant. If I go ahead and tell everyone how I do things or show people how I do things on social media. What if influencers just then go and do it themselves? And it really freaks people out and it gets in their heads. So what's up? It gets in their heads because the number one thing they think of is, well, if I post how I do something, either a tutorial or step-by-step -step or even just me doing it, if I post me doing something on social media, what if the influencer just sees how I do it and they take it and they copy it and they do it for themselves? Or what if another person just takes it and copies it and does it and then markets it on their own? And I want to talk about this, okay? Because here is the thing, guys. It is so silly to be so worried that other people are going to copy your shit. It's so, so silly especially when it comes to influencers, because here is the deal, okay? Number one, posting whatever the fuck you know can only help you, because here is the thing. Businesses nowadays, especially in the online space, are so built on social proof, and it's so built on evidence of you knowing and you doing, okay? So, the way to show that you know how to do something and that you've done it before is to show that you can do it on social media. This is not something, posting what you know how to do isn't a issue and it's not something that you should worry about other people copying. It is literally the most beneficial thing you can do for your business and for your brand to develop some authority and to develop a positive reputation of having your shit together and knowing your shit on social media, okay? And as soon as you make that pivot in your brain and as soon as you make that mental pivot of going from, well, I don't want to post everything I know because what if somebody takes it from me to, well, I'm going to post everything I know because it shows people how much I know your entire world changes. And I'm not just talking about like your social media becomes more active and all of this stuff and you get, start posting more. I'm talking about your business too. People will begin to flood in more or are more likely to flood in with the proper marketing because they see that you have your fucking shit together and that you know what you're talking about. So number one, don't be afraid of posting what you know. Don't be afraid of sharing your knowledge because it doesn't do you any good just keeping it all in your head. It's literally every single piece of content and every single tutorial you can think of. Picture that being like the concept of a Tesla and Elon Musk never sharing it with the world or anyone beyond him. Literally, you're hogging your knowledge and you're not helping or serving anyone. 
And if you want to help and serve more people, you've got to help and serve more people on social for free before you can start helping and sharing and serving more people by attracting clients. And you attract those clients through social media. And you have to post on social media, but the thing that allows you to post on social media is to get the shit out of your brain onto a freaking post. Thanks, Carrie. So when it comes to that, guys, don't freak out. Number two, the second question, or the second concern is, well, you know, if I post a tutorial, what if the influencer just goes and takes that and then just does it themselves? And I just laugh so much at this because guys, they don't have time to do it themselves. Why the heck do you think that they're looking at your page as a virtual assistant? They don't have time to do that shit. They don't have any time to go in and be like, oh, okay, I'm going to learn some new tools in Canva to create my graphics. I'm going to create some new stuff. Or, oh, I'm going to create a brand new Kajabi sales page. Dude, they don't have time. That's why they're on your page. And by you showing that you know how to do something, it allows them to be like, oh my gosh, I feel like I don't even need to interview her. She knows her shit. She knows what she's talking about. She's showing me on her own page, on her own material, on her own content that she knows what to do and that she can do it for me. What's up, guys? Go ahead and uh, DM me after and I'll set you up with a VA. I have like 13 that have been through my program. So yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, literally. Guys, as a virtual assistant, the only way that people are going to find you is by you sharing your knowledge. All the juicy stuff that you're afraid to share, you need to start sharing it. Because at the end of the day, the people that need you are going to be more likely to onboard you when you show them that you can do the shit that they're wanting you to do, okay? I didn't get my VA gig with my, um, with Angie. I didn't get my VA gig with Angie or any of my other influencers because somebody just told them to trust me. <laughs> and they were like, oh yeah, trust me, she's great. Trust me, don't worry. Trust me, she might not have anything on social media, but just trust me, she's great. I got all of my virtual assistant gigs and all of my virtual assistants have gotten their gigs because they've shown up on their social media and they've shown people that they can create, that they can create content, that they can keep up with their community, that they can that they have the solutions that the influencer is looking for. Okay? So whether you're a virtual assistant, whether you're in any other business and you're teetering on the side of, well, I offer this product or this service or this opportunity, um, I don't know if I should share all my secrets on social media, like all of how I do things and the process behind it, because what if somebody takes my idea and what if somebody takes my concept and what if somebody takes my system and implements it into their own business? Number one, if they're your ideal client and if they're a busy entrepreneur, they're not going to have the time to implement your system. They're looking at you because they need to vet you you so that you can help them and social media is just one easy process of vetting because it literally shows them that you know what you're talking about without getting on a one hour zoom call with them and then number two when it comes to the opposite side of things okay let's say somebody does take your content idea let's say that somebody let's say you post a piece of content and then somebody that follows you and you follow them and they're later, they're a little bit early in their career and you're a little bit more seasoned. Let's say that you see that they post a similar piece of content that's iterized, so not exactly the same, that has their language, that has their branding, and it's really helpful and it serves more people. Now, I mean, people have different opinions on this, but when it comes down to it, guys, dude, you putting that piece of content out has helped this person and has opened up their mind into a whole other avenue of their business that they might have been great at, but that they didn't know and that they didn't notice. So you've helped that person. Number two, 
I hate to burst the bubble, but no idea is completely unique. None of them. None of them anymore. No ideas. Guys, there have been so many billions and billions and billions of people on this planet. No idea is unique. Everything is inspired from something before. That's how you get your idea. Nothing comes out of thin air and you're like, I have gotten the brand new idea for this car. Okay? That's not how that happens. Marketing and the way individuals begin to open up a product or service brand is literally they had a brand before that they didn't like fully or that they figured could be better and they iterated on it. Okay, Christian Guzman, he founded a company called Alphalete and he literally started it because he liked the style of Zara's t-shirts, but he didn't like that they only lasted six months and he wanted to create a more premium t-shirt, the same style, but m more premium material. Literally started because it was inspired by something else and there was a hole in the market and he took the opportunity. That's the same thing that people are doing when they're inspired by your content. They're inspired by your content. They're like, wow, I could implement this this way or oh my gosh, they didn't even talk about this in it. And they go ahead, they find the hole in your content and they fill it. And at the end of the day, number one, it's improved their life and their career. So thank you for being that way and just being an open and great friend to them and helping them. And number two, guess what? Their content is going to help more people. And at the end of the day, I know this is so like woo woo and beyond you and beyond me and like everyone, but like at the end of the day, and it's, it's fluffy, okay? That's what I meant, it's fluffy. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, our whole mission on this earth and the reason why we were put on this earth is to leave it a better place, to leave it with something better because you've done something to it that's positive. And doesn't helping other people grow, isn't that exactly that? So when it comes down to it, this isn't your life, this isn't your world, this isn't your idea, this isn't your thing your solo thing, you literally got this idea inspired from something else, whether it be exactly in the field and in the career that you are on or just something like it, okay? And now you're helping others do the same exact thing, okay? So stop freaking out about your content, be worrying that people are going to take your prized possession of content and just start sharing because sharing is caring, man. And the more you share, the more people see that you're just there to help and the more likely they are to ask for your help through your product or service, virtual assisting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys tomorrow.